Hi, my name is David Trainer, and I direct that 70s show. Uh, this is we're watching an episode from the third season. I think it's episode 322, so it's the 22nd show of that season. Um, I'm watching this and talking about it uh, after the seventh season, so uh, four years later. I have to do the math there for a minute. Four years later. Um, one of the interesting things about watching these episodes is going back and seeing what, uh, what it was like four years ago. I'm going to go make some popcorn and get some sodas. My beautifully sculpted hindquarters. Flounce. Not only does Eric love Star Wars and Star Trek, Topher loves Star Wars and Star Trek. So all of these imitations Star Wars are done with real uh, feeling for the material. Eric. Now, the diary's talking to him here. The voice of the diary is Nick Bakai. Nick Bakai is a stand-up comic. He's also the voice of the cat on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And he's a friend of uh, a lot of people involved in the show. And he did, has done many voiceovers uh, for the show over the course of the years. He appears once in the show as a sort of peculiar truck driver who picks up Kelso uh, in a truck on the highway. So if you ever see that episode, that's Nick Bakai, the voice of the, of the journal. What you learn here cannot be unlearned. <laughs> okay, do you want me to read you or not? Sorry. <laughs> Eric and I went to second base tonight. He was hilarious. <laughs> you know, the, the theme, as it were, of the third season is the building up, particularly in the second half of the season, the building up of a certain kind of tension between Eric and Donna that's going to come to a head in the final episode of the season. And uh, here's, it's, it's the, the tension comes from Donna going out into the world and wanting to do things on her own and Eric feeling a little stuck in the basement, stuck in his own world. She's becoming a grown-up. He's still a little bit of an adolescent and he's a little insecure uh, and reading her journal, which is what he's doing here behind her back, sort of makes him both feel good when he reads the good stuff and feel bad when he reads the bad stuff or what he perceives to be the bad stuff. So this is a step along the way of, of laying out the tension that's going to uh, erupt at the very end of the year. Hello, how are you? I didn't do anything. You look pretty. He's not very good at covering his guilt. <laughs> 